Welcome to the spoken tutorial on CTD counter. In this tutorial, we will learn about working of countdown counter. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC main board, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of CTU and compare instruction. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. We will create an up-down counter to understand the working of CTD. Let us open LD Micro. Insert a contact and a coil as shown. Rename the contact as up. Now, insert a contact parallel to X up. Rename the new contact as down. To the right of X up, insert a CTU as shown here. Double click on CTU. Rename the CTU as count. The condition value is by default 0. Don't change it. To the right of X down, insert a CTD as shown here. Double click on CTD. Just like CTU, it has two columns, name and true if greater than or equal to. Rename the CTD as count. The condition value is by default zero. Don't change it. Now, configure the coil as internal relay and rename it as relay. This is because here we don't need any physical output from CTU and CTD. Now, place a rung below as shown here. In the new rung, insert a greater than or equal to compare instruction. Double click on the compare instruction. Compare C count variable with 3. That is, in the closed if column, enter C count. In the greater than or equals to column, enter 3. Click on the OK button. Now, to the right of it, insert a coil. Rename it as LED. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next, start real-time simulation as shown. We can observe initially that the state of every instruction is zero except for R relay. Double click on X up to change its state to one. We can observe the state of the C count changes to one. Keep changing the state of X up by double clicking on it until C count value reaches three. We can observe the state of Y LED changes to 1. Just like in the CTU example. Now, change the state of X down to 1. We can observe the C count value changes to 2. That is, decreased by 1. Also, the state of Y LED goes back to 0. The state of Y LED will be 1 only when C count value is greater than or equals to 3. Change the state of X down back to 0. The value of C count is still 2. The CTD decreases the count value by 1 only with the rising edge of its input. Thus, the working of CTU and CTD is similar. 
the only difference is CTD decrements the counter value. We can also reset the CTD using reset instruction. Now turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR 8 Mega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign pin PC0 to X up and PC1 to X down. Assign pin PA0 to Y LED. Compile the logic as ctd.hex. Then save the ladder diagram as ctd.ld. We will now see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the main board to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground pin of the red LED of traffic light module to ground of the main board. Then connect plus 5 volt pin of the red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Connect NO1 to PC0 of the main board. Then connect NO2 to PC1 of the main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. Initially, the red LED will not glow. It will glow only when NO1 is pressed for at least 3 times. So, Press the switch NO1 for 3 times. Now the count value is 3. Press the switch NO2. The count value becomes 2 and the LED will turn off. Thus CTD decreases the count value by 1 after every switch press. Turn off the power supply. Where can an up down counter be used? The up-down counter can be used when we need to count the finished products. CTU will increment the count value when a product is finished. CTD will decrement the count of products that fail the quality test. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about working of countdown counter. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSSI team signing off. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग